This video is brought to you by the supporters on Patreon. Hey guys, I'm here with the first video on how I made my Witch Mercy broom. There was a lot to this, so I'm breaking up into three videos. In this video, I'm mostly going to be working on the front section of her wand, which is like, you know, the head piece wand staff. I mean staff. It's a staff? Broom? Broom? Broom. The front part of her broom. So what I'm doing is I'm taking foam. I believe this foam is four millimeters thick and I'm tracing out my patterns onto that and then cutting it out. My patterns are available online. They are on my store Envy if you don't want to have to pattern them out yourself. And then I took my Dremel and smoothed down all of the edges of all of the many pieces I had just cut out. There are certain pieces in this build that has like angled edges, so you'll need to bevel those and Dremel them at an edge rather than straight on, or a slant rather than straight on. And to figure out which pieces these were, I just looked at a reference photo that will probably give you the best idea on what you need to kind of round out or dremel down and what can be just more straight and blunt. And here I'm taking contact cement and I'm applying glue to all of the pieces I'll be gluing together first. So these pieces right here are for the nozzle of her broom, like where the beam will cut out, come out of. And I'm applying glue to the PVC pipe and to the foam pieces. And I believe the PVC pipe I used for her broom was like an inch? I think that was the size that I got. If I am wrong, I will correct it in the description below. Context Cement has instructions on how to use it on the bottle or jar or whatever it comes in. And so this one is just apply it, let it sit for a little bit. I think it says 15 minutes, but I found on foam it doesn't actually take that long. So I didn't wait that long. I waited like maybe five minutes. And then adhere the pieces together and it will stick. 
And these are the two end nozzle pieces that I had just talked about. So this green film is two millimeter film and I'm applying that kind of just totally winging it to the top part of the barrel because I didn't like how straight it went and I wanted something that would be a bit at a bit more of an angle and then I can also take a Dremel to and Dremel to a bit more of an angle so everything kind of tapers to not a point exactly because it's not pointed at the end but like it tapers inward a little bit just to give it a better shape. Next I'm working on gluing together these little hook pieces that stick off of her staff or broom. I'm not sure what to call these pieces at all, but I'm gluing all the pieces on that together. So there's a little bit of layering here, as you can see. I can't really think of words to call certain pieces, so reference photos will help here, and just looking at what I'm attaching where will help here as well. So there's these three little bumpy pieces that come off of the top of the nozzle that are like slightly angled, you'll see in a minute here. And I'm just measuring around the nozzle to figure out what a good spacing to space them all apart will be so that they are at least sort of evenly apart, spaced apart. So I like working on other pieces as I wait for glue to get dry and the pieces that I'm applying glue to here is the part that goes on the fancy little like piece below this where it looks like the broom would attach to itself or like the handle part of the broom where you would grip it. There's a little latch looking thing at the top of one of the pieces you'll see in a little bit and that's just what I'm gluing together there. I'm also taking Dremel and standing down some of the edges that were glued together earlier and so they're not exactly even and just sanding that down because you know you can't cut everything to be perfectly exact. I mean you probably could but I can't. I also applied glue where there's going to be like those little saw bits but they're also like bolt bits. It's really confusing but it looks cool. And as the glue dries, I go ahead and apply everything. Well, it doesn't dry fully, but it gets tacky and ready to stick to one another. So I go ahead and stick everything down as, as I go along and as one piece finishes and as I'm working on the next. Here, I'm drawing on the design that I will later solder in to these little pieces because each one has like a different symbol. I'm not sure what they are or what they mean. I originally drew them too big and I'll go over it with a silver sharpie later and make those smaller before soldering it in. And again, I'm just hitting everything with a Dremel to make sure everything's staying smooth and even before moving on to steps where it might get harder to get into some of the smaller spaces. I've also attached the swirly bolt pieces that have like the little swirl at the bottom and one saw blade that goes the opposite direction to the other on top of the little saw bolt pieces. And now I'm attaching what are the actual bolts 
on top of that. And here I'm taking a soldering iron and just adding in some of those details that I drew up earlier that kind of need to be caved in. Here I'm taking the part of the handle piece that I mentioned earlier, the part that's like the handle of her broom, like an actual handle, and applying glue there because there's a little swirly detail I'll need to attach. And I'm also applying glue to the bottom of the little hook pieces that stick off of the top of the, like, the nozzle end of her broom and applying glue to the PVC pipe as well because I'll be gluing those into place. To mark them out, I eyeballed this one a little bit more but I also measured it and then marked out where it will sit with Sharpie. And now I'm attaching those on. So I had to make this travel friendly so I broke this down. I marked random spots, no real measurements of where I wanted things to be broken down. One of the places is where this little handle piece goes. I took a hacksaw to cut that in half and then I attached these little connector pieces because those were going to be easy to hide. This first connector piece that you'll see here in a second is hidden by this handle piece and the other connector pieces are hidden by the sculpting stuff that I use to sculpt the wooden details. And here I'm just gluing on the sculpting piece. If you want to see how I made the rest of the broom, I will have more videos coming soon. The next one will be all about sculpting. And I think I called something a sculpting piece earlier and I meant the handle piece. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a lovely day.